glad you're here this morning. Listen, we have a show planned for you this morning. So we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna go live right now to our host of the Holly Jolly Kitchen. Watch this. Are we on? Are we on? Wait, what? What? We're live right now? Uh, but where's, where's Holly? Where's Holly? We can't start filming without Holly. Or can we? What am I saying? What am I saying? Of course we can. not After all, hello, the show is called Holly Jolly Kitchen. I guess I'll just have to wait. Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Felice Navidad, assistant chefs, and welcome back to our special Christmas edition of Holly Jolly Kitchen. My name is Holly, and I am, of course, the host in this fun, festive cooking show. And beside me is my co-host right here. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody home? Hello? Oh my goodness, we're, we're on the air. Aren't you going to introduce yourself? Come on. Uh, what we do, we're here, we're hosts. Holly, uh, where have you been? Where have you been? You the show that? started like a long time ago. Like I have been here and you kept me and our audience waiting. And it I think it was like for two hours. Mm. Yeah, I, okay. I have been waiting here forever whoa, whoa. for you. Golly, jolly, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Everything's fine. Everybody, they're having fun. It's all fun. Oh, I'm about to tangle someone's tinsel, but it's not going to be mine. What? Get a hold of yourself, jolly. We are in a kid's kitchen cooking show. It is going to be a great day for our viewers to be tuning in. And do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Uh, you mean the viewers who haven't? left already because there was nothing to see oh okay whatever anyways jolly okay it is the greatest day do you know why or almost the greatest day do you know why why do you know why do you know why why because you know why? christmas time is getting closer and closer and closer and closer like i'm getting closer and closer and closer christmas to you is getting too close. i just can't Keep myself from singing these days. I just love Christmas songs, and there's no better way to keep the cooking sure lively in the kitchen than to sing out loud for all to hear. See what I did there? What? That's pretty good, huh? Uh, yeah. Such a good voice. But did you I, see what I did there? I sing out loud for all to hear. I saw what you did. Yeah. I, I unfortunately heard what you did also. <sighs> uh, so what that's you, not very jolly. I, I got. It. How about we just move on? Jolly ginger set. How about we just move on and do another audience poll? You know what oh, we've yes. been doing? Oh, let's do yeah. that. Let's do that. Sounds like yeah. a great idea. Okay. I want to, this week, I want to do a poll about favorite Christmas songs. <gasps> that is the best idea you've ever, ever had. And I have a lot of Jolly Gingerbreads, I'm so excited. Okay, I can't wait. I have so many favorite Christmas songs. I mean, like, uh, so many favorites. Uh, Holly, remember, uh, a favorite, uh -huh. uh, you can only have one. That's not okay. true. You, you can't have like so many favorites. Oh, I have so many Christmas favorites. Songs. I have so no, many no, no. favorites. That's, like, that's the definition of a no, favorite. No, 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 it's, no, no. it's one favorites. thing. Favorites. Favorite. We put an S at the end. Plural means more than one. Favorites. Also, like you're right now my favorite co host, but like tomorrow I may have another favorite co host. So I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa. What? Have you heard something that I haven't heard? About what? About me and my job? No, you're totally fine. I'm just saying. You're I have fine. lots of. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, you're totally fine. Can I mean, the poll? Oh yeah, let's do the poll. Okay. Uh, let's okay. do the poll. Right. Let's do the poll. Christmas. So, uh, I, I got a good one. Jingle oh, bells. Oh yeah. Jingle bells. If your favorite Christmas song is Jingle Bells, let's... raise your hand. Jingle bells. Or jingle your bells. Yes, whatever yes, yes, it yes. Is. Okay, okay. That's one of my favorites uh -huh. for sure. Okay, okay. I've got this one. Okay. If your favorite Christmas song is Frosty the Snowman, then let me hear you say thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump. Get it? Because it's like the song. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I hear that we've got some Frosty fans in the <gasps> house. Yes, they do. See, they love it. What about, there's a song out there called Rockin' Around the Christmas Ooh. Tree. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Da, da, da. That is such a great song. That's my favorite, too. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Okay. You don't like it? 
I don't I don't care for that version. What? What? My version? Uh, yeah, that one. Is, that's not nice. Okay, okay, okay. I know that we have to have some Rudolph fans in this house. Let me hear you say, like a light bulb, if you like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. If that is your favorite, favorite. Oh, that's what do they say? Like a light bulb? Like a light bulb. Like a light bulb. Is that your favorite? Uh, no, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. Huh. So we missed a couple of favorites. We did. Right? Yeah. My favorite mm -hmm. is Up on the Housetop. Oh, I like that one. Yes. That's a really good one. Up on I like the Housetop. Reindeer mm -hmm. paw. See, I'm a reindeer. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's good. Reindeer. Reindeer. reindeer you are a reindeer. I am a why are, reindeer. Why are... Hold on a second. That's right. Let's Wait, finish the poll, oh, okay? Finish the poll. Oh, so, yeah, finish the poll because it's about Christmas songs. Yes. So if, if we miss one of your songs, I just want you to shout it out, okay? <gasps> Audience, shout out your favorite song okay. if we didn't mention it. Okay. And I'll give you two seconds to think about it, and then I'm going to count to three, and then you shout it out, okay? Two seconds to think about it. One, two. Okay. All right. Now, ready? One, two, three. Shout it out. All of them. I got so excited that my glasses blew up. Can't They're all say of them. All of them. They're all my favorite, and some of the ones they shout out are my favorite, too. You know why? Because all of them are my favorite. Again, you yeah. don't understand what a favorite if means. If you put an S at the end of favorite, it's plural. I did not put an S well, at the end I of favorite. Well, I am favorite. But anyway, arguing aside, favorites, more than two. As you can tell that we love Christmas here on this show. We do. We do. Love we love Christmas. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And as in today's episode, yes. we're going we're gonna to celebrate what? what? The birth of <gasps> Jesus. That is right. You are so correct. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, I'm so good at this. Holly. I should become a professional singer. Holly. Mm -hmm. So you're very excited today. Uh, and that's yeah. cool. Jolly gingerbread. Of course I'm excited. So why don't you share with our audience mm -hmm. what the best part of Christmas is? Well. <laughs> okay. Golly jolly. This is so easy. I mean, so easy. The best part of Christmas is getting Christmas gifts, of course. <laughs> well, Holly, you're, well, you're right. Of course you're I'm right. You're right. Of course I'm right. I mean, thank you for saying it, though. Well, it's really nice of you. Actually, what I was going to say was well, the gifts are nice. Yeah. But the best part of Christmas is uh -huh. the gift that God sent us. Uh-huh. Jesus. Oh. When God sent us Jesus. Yeah. It was because Jesus was his perfect plan to bring joy, mm. love, and peace to the whole world. Joy, love, and peace. Mm. Mm. Well, <laughs> of course, that's what I meant. Really? Yeah. Like, the reason we celebrate Christmas is because God sent us the most special gift of all. That's right. So, actually, gifts is the best part of Christmas. Do you see? See what I did? there again. I couldn't agree more, Holly. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank How you. about we tune our attention to this video tune. before we jump in today's oh. celebration oh, Let's fun. do it. Let's do it. Do you want to do that? Uh-huh. I do. want to do that? I want to do what you want. I want to tune in. Oh, you know what I do? Okay. Check. Check it out. Check. Check it out. Check. Check, check, check it out. No, mine was better because it was like snappy. Three, 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 three. What's up, Cook-Off fam? I hope you're ready for the most kitcheny, cook-offy, super spectacular fun time challenge. Oh, hold up there, Mr. Grinch. You better not be trying to sway our junior chefs to the green team. Trying to sway them? No way. Everyone already knows that Team Green is the best team. <gasps> team Red for life? Uh, let's get this party started by telling these guys what we're so pumped about. Okay. Junior Chefs, you got a colored bracelet that tells you which team you're going to be competing on. If your bracelet is red, let me hear you cheer! You guys sound all right, but green team, let's show them how it's done. Shout it out if your bracelet is green! Okay, now that everyone knows what team they're on, we can tell you guys that we're going to be competing for points. Throughout today, we'll issue challenges, and if your team wins, They'll get a point. That's right, Candy Cane. Candy Cane? Yeah, I mean, you called me Mr. Grinch. I was just trying to think of something red. Ah, I see. Oh, man, I would give anything for a Candy Cane right now. <gasps> Even a point to Team Green? Stay strong, Reese. Stay strong. Uh, nope, no points for you. Well, Green Team, it was worth a try. 
Anyway, we're going to be issuing challenges all day long. And at the end, we'll announce our winner. Oh man, Reese, I realized we never even told them why we're competing in the first place. Ooh, that was close. Let them know. The cool reason why we're having this big cook-off party, baking, magical, stupendous, spectacular cook-off competition is because <gasps> it's Christmas. That's right. And at Christmas time, there is a lot to celebrate. Teams, who knows who we celebrate at Christmas? Jesus! Yes! Christmas is all about God sending us His Son. Yeah, at Christmas time, we celebrate Jesus. In fact, why don't we hit them with the good news? By, by good news, you mean, of course, the good news of Jesus. That's right, Reese. It's story time. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is Joseph. What's up, Joe? And this is Mary. How are we doing? Wouldn't you know it, they were expecting a baby boy. But this wasn't like a regular baby. This was a special baby. One to really celebrate because he was God's son. While Mary was pregnant, the ruler of the country made everyone go back to their hometown to be counted in a census. Ah, oh, census! Uh, one, two, three, four. What are you doing? I'm counting my senses and five. <coughs> no, not senses. A census. Oh. That means counting the people who live in a certain area. In order to be counted, they had to take a little trip back to home, which was Bethlehem. It, ah, so I guess Joseph and Mary really had to roll on out of there. <laughs> That's right. They packed up their donkey and hit the road. And after the long trip, they were finally there. The end. Uh, what? No, not even close. This is where things get pretty crazy. <gasps> oh yeah! The baby! Was it time? Sound the alarm! This is not a drill! I repeat, this is not a drill! Yeah, it was time, but there was a big problem. <gasps> there were so many people in Bethlehem, they didn't have a place to stay. No! Say it isn't so! They went all around town looking for somewhere to stay, but all the inns were full. But they weren't completely out of options. Uh, it, hey guys, listen, there's no room in the inn, but I guess you could stay in the stable if you want to. So, are you trying to tell me that Mary and Joseph were willing to whisk it all and stay in a barn with animals? That's right, Graham. They were about to have a baby, and they knew they could trust God's plan. And then, drum roll please. <gasps> Jesus, God's son was born. <gasps> hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mary and Joseph wrapped Jesus and placed him in a manger. Oh, and then that very same night, some shepherds in a nearby field were taking care of their sheep. Bah! There they were, just tending to their flock. When? An angel suddenly appeared to them! <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was scary, but the angel told them not to be afraid because he had some good news. The angel let the shepherds know all about how baby Jesus was born and that he was the special baby that everyone was waiting for. And then even more angels joined the first one and they all celebrated and sang because Jesus was born. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. After that, the shepherds set out to find baby Jesus. When the shepherds made it to the stable, they told Mary and Joseph what the angel had said. Mary and Joseph were amazed at what God had done, sending his son Jesus to be the savior of the world. And that's why we celebrate Jesus at Christmas. God sent him to be the best gift ever. He came here to give hope, love, and forgiveness to the world. Oh yeah, and that good news is why we're celebrating with the red versus green Christmas cook-off today. Yep, we thought there was no better way to celebrate Jesus than by playing a bunch of games, a special Christmas cook-off, and... And, 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 my favorite part, dance breaks. That's right, one way we celebrate Jesus around here is by dancing. Should we demonstrate? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, now it's time to get this competition started with our first game. Mm -hmm. Yep, teams, 
let's go. Our first game is called Santa Says. Whoop whoop! I love this game. Your host for today is gonna come up on stage in a Santa hat and they're gonna choose reps from the green team and reps from the red team to play. If you do what Santa says, you can keep playing. That's right, but if you do something Santa doesn't say, you're out. At the end of the game, the team with the most players still standing will be the winner. And that team will get a point. So come on, green team, don't let me down. Santa's suit is red, so our chances must be better. Just saying, Team Red for life. All right, you ready? Let's play. Best true story ever. Yep. Yep. And because Jesus was born to fix our friendship with God, mm -hmm. it makes him the most wonderful gift ever, too. The That's why we can celebrate wonderful Jesus. Of the year. You just made up a song. I did. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Jolly Gingerbreads, I just love Christmas time. I, I love it. I, I love it do. so much. I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What? Golly jolly, I just had the best idea ever. What's your best idea ever? Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Yeah. Jolly gingerbreads, this is going to be so much fun. I love games. I, I so love games. You love games? Mm -hmm. I do. I do. All right. So here's the game. It is called Santa Says. Santa Says. That's yeah. an easy game. Yeah. Right. Why so is it easy? Because it's easy. It's like another game that I've heard of before called Simon Says. You're exactly right. Except for this is going to be not Simon, Santa. Santa's Santa. real Santa. name might be Simon. Ooh, Simon Santa? I wonder Ooh. if that's his real name. Hmm. Saint Simon? And do you think that uh, Rudolph is Ru Ralph Rudolph? Oh, Rudolph is absolutely Ralph. Okay, that's what I thought. That yeah. makes total sense. Yeah. So uh, okay. I guess if, if you're watching at home and mm -hmm. you want to play at home, right. you're going to have to pick somebody in your household to be Santa, mm -hmm. to do Santa says. And they'll just tell you things to do and you have to do it. And if you mess up or you don't do it, then- Bad things happen. Then <laughs> bad things do not happen. Oh, no. Then you, the game's over. Oh, You didn't, didn't win. Okay, you didn't right. win the game. Right, right. Okay. So you pick sense. your mom, your dad, your yeah. aunt. Yeah, your grandma. No, yeah. grandma got run over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope not. I like that I song. That'd be sad. That's an old song. But it's really song. But if you're here live with us, just wait a second because the host is going to come up and play with you guys. We hope you guys had fun with that game. Mm -hmm. And don't worry if you didn't win that round because you know what? There's still plenty of more games to play. Jolly, jolly. Guess what? Grim and Reese are ready for our next surprise. And I can hardly wait. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Give so why don't you put your eyes My eyeballs. on the screen mm -hmm. and let's check it out. Check, check. Check it out. What's up, Junior Chefs? This has been an incredible cook-off so far. You got that right. I can really tell that both teams are really giving it their best. Yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat to see who's going to win. Uh, Graham, uh, you're, you're standing. But either way, it's time to get our cakes in the oven. Yes, the main event of the day, the cake competition. Tell them what's up. So we told you guys that today is a special Christmas cook-off to celebrate Jesus. And it wouldn't be a true cook-off if we didn't actually cook something. Right, that's right, Graham. We've prepped these cakes and we're ready to get them in the oven. When they're all done baking, we'll pull them out and get to decorating. But while we wait, I say it's time for a... Dance, dance break! break! Yeah, it is. Okay, we need you guys to stand up and let's see those crazy cool moves. <gasps> Wow, that was fast. You all can take a seat. Now, while we prep for the cake decorating, we're gonna let you guys play another game of your own. Ooh, this game is gonna be great. It's called Rudolph Race. Now, everyone knows that Rudolph has a red nose, which happens to be our team color, just saying. Well, lucky for our green team friends, I threw in some green ones too. Well, I guess we'll rename this game Reindeer Race then. That's right, you're going to have a ball full of pom-poms, red for the red team, and green for the green team. And with whipped cream on your nose, you'll put your nose in the bowl to catch the pom-poms and then drop them on your team's plates. They're so cute and they're so fuzzy. Like this. Exactly, like that. We'll put a timer up and the team who has the most pom-poms from the bowl to the plate will be the winner. 
And another thing, if your nose runs out of whipped cream, you can always reapply, but do it quickly because you're racing the clock. Uh, Reese, I think I got too much. Oh, Graham, your nose, just your nose. Oh, well, what a delicious mistake. All right, green team, you know what to do. Red team, I know you're ready. Can't wait to see who wins. Those guys have some seriously cool dance moves, but I cannot wait to see how the next game shakes it out. Did you catch it? I did it again. I did, I'm full of it today. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I'm I got on it. A roll. I got it too. I'm on a roll. Whoa. I'm on a roll. Get I feel it? like you stole that joke from somebody. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, maybe I did. Yeah. So, who is ready to represent their team okay. in the Rudolph? Race. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes, I am. You're ready. I am ready. You have a team. I do have a team. What's I your team? Okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. My team is Team Red. What? What? Team Red. Go Team Red. Go Team Red. Go Team Red. Go Team Red. I can do this all day. Go I don't. Red. I would rather you didn't do that all day. Why not? But it's interesting that you just have those sitting back there, and I mean, you're Team Red. And I'm wearing red, and I so have red presents. I guess red. that makes me red. Team Green. You've been wearing that the whole time. That's you've right. That in team there the whole Green. Time. So you guys out there, just shout out your team color right now. Red, 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 red. I said four times. They're gonna have cheerleaders. Oh yeah, that's right. They are. Yeah. So make sure you look for your cheerleaders. If there's gonna be a green cheerleader with this hand, and there's gonna be a red cheerleader with a red pom pom. That's right. That are way better than the hand. Thank you. Oh, look, I'm petting Eduardo. No, you're knocking him over is what you're doing. You're rolling him. Aww. Stop it. That's He's mean. a good boy. He is good. Okay. All right, so we're going to give teams 30 seconds to play. Players can start whenever the timer begins. If you need time to gather supplies, go ahead and pause the video now. Teams, Woo go that, red, go red. That is now my all-time favorite game. Favorites. To I have play. many favorites of games. It is my, that is my one okay. favorite game. Jolly, 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 jolly. Okay, okay, all, all about the games. It's fun and everything. But isn't it time to start decorating those cakes? Oh, decorating the cakes. cakes. All yes, right, yes. Holly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put your eyes my, don't put in me those in glasses. Okay. Put your eyes. You keep your fingers to yourself. On the screen and... Check out Graham and Reese now. Check, check, check it out. Check them out. Jack Finger. Check them in. Check them out. Great game, team. I'm really impressed with the mad gaming skills these guys have. Same, but competition isn't over yet. You got that right. Our cakes are all cooled down, and it's time to decorate. Now these cakes are no ordinary plain Jane blotty blah run of the mill average snooze fest cakes. No way. These cakes are special. That's right. These cakes are birthday cakes <gasps> for Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're going to decorate our cakes in our team's color. When we're all done, you guys will cheer and vote for which one you think is the best decorated. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to decorating. teams it's time for you to vote for which one you think is best if you think that the red team's cake is the best let me hear you say oh yeah 
Oh yeah! You could barely hear them. Green Team will definitely be louder. Let me hear you, Green Team! Red Team, let me hear you. Oh, oh wait! Just one last thing. <laughs> there we go. Now let me hear you say, red, 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 as loud as you can. Red, 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 red. Oh, come on. Lights or no lights. Let me hear you one more time, green team. Cheer as loud as you can if you think the green cake is the best. <laughs> all right, all right. I wasn't going to do this, but. Now let me hear you, Red Team, as loud as you can be! All right, all right. I'll give it to you. Your cake is awesome. I think we all know what this means. Just go ahead, say it. I can take it. Red Team wins! Great job, Reese. Your team did awesome today. But hey, don't forget, it's not over yet. That's right, there's one more game to play. We'll get to that in a minute. I think we need to put the competition in the cooler for a minute to remember why we're competing in the first place. Reese, you're right. We don't need to get all caught up in the red and green and forget that we're having this big party to celebrate Jesus. You got it. You and I can celebrate Jesus because that's what this season is all about. Let's say that together. I can. I can. Celebrate. Celebrate. Jesus. Jesus. You got it. Now let's celebrate Jesus with one more game. This one's called Unwrap the Need to Know. Yep, we're gonna have four presents and each one has a piece of the need to know we just said inside of it. You'll have to unwrap those gifts and put the need to know in the correct order. The first team to unwrap all four gifts and correctly order the need to know will be our winner. And remember, this is your last chance to earn a point for your team. All right, Here we guys, go. who's ready to play Unwrap the Need to Know? Who thinks they can remember the need to know? Mm -hmm. I can. can Don't you forget. What? This is going to be the final point Ooh, of our right. Christmas cook-off. Yeah. So don't let me down, green no, team. No, red team, you've got this. Green team, don't let me red down. Team, red team, red don't team, red team. Don't let me down. Red team, red team. Red We're going to give them 30 seconds to play this game. Okay, all right. That means that the teams will have to work together mm -hmm. as well as super fast. Okay. Like a jellyfish. Are jellyfish fast? Super what? fast. When you say like a like a shark, aren't they faster than jellyfish? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish are super fast. I think that's false information. Okay, anyway, if you're at home, here's what you need to do. Super simple. Go get a couple pieces of paper and write down the need to know, which is mm -hmm. I, can I can celebrate Jesus. So write it down on three different pieces of paper. Uh, four. Four, that's right. I can. You're right, you're right. Four. Four different pieces of paper. Or you could split it up into individual letters. Oh, you could. That would be, that would take longer than that would take. Seconds. I think it's like 812 letters. <laughs> I don't think it's that many letters. But get some paper, write down the words for the need to know. Hmm. Then have your parents put them in some type of bag. And then. Or they could wrap them up in a present. You could. You could wrap them up in a present. And then when the 30, when you're ready, press play. And then the timer will give you 30 seconds, and you try to put them in the right order as fast as you can. Yes. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, so I think we can do that. Both teams should have their gift bags now, so I think we're ready to play. All right. Audience, be sure to cheer for your team. Red, red. Okay, here we go. Let's count down from three and say unwrap to get this game started. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, unwrap! unwrap. That was a great effort by both teams, yes. especially the blue team. Now, this they is a blue great. team. There's yep. a green and red team. Blue team. Green and red team. Okay, Jolly, I am just so excited. Jolly Gingerbreads, I'm so excited. Jolly Gingerbreads, I'm so excited. Oh, Ginger Snap, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, Jolly, okay. Jolly, what about, what about so you excited. guys? 
They're excited. Everybody have fun at home. Everybody have fun in the studio audience. Yeah. 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 I think it was awesome. It was Congratulations super fun. to everybody who played today. So I say we celebrate everyone's hard work today by singing a oh, la, 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 fabulous Christmas song. So let's go ahead and stand up and oh, sing. Okay. What are you doing? What am I singing? You're going to find out. Watch. Angels we have burned all night, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strain. to today's Christmas cook-off. I know, we've had such a blast celebrating Jesus with everybody this morning. Hey Jolly, before we say goodbye, how about we all bow our heads, close our eyes, and you say a prayer for us. That sounds perfect. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time of year. We thank you for the gift that you gave us, which was your son. And we ask that in the coming days that we just all remember uh, what that gift means and how important it was and how it can how it can fix our relationship with you. We thank you for that. I ask you to keep everybody safe during this holiday season and help everybody to have an enjoyable time. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I think that's it that's from it. our Holly Jolly Kitchen. Mm -hmm. right? We want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Merry and, Christmas. And um, sure. we really hope you enjoyed the series. Yes. And we have a new series coming up called On the Go. On and the Go? On the Go. Yeah, oh, on the go. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's on the go. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun, and we're going to show you a promo right here. But again, have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey there, world travelers. My name is Juan Duran, the bestest of Questus, and I'm the host of the one and only GeoQ, the app that sends you on quests to discover new places around the world. Not much of a traveler? Flights make you a little sneezy and queasy? No worries. We'll get you there quick and easy. 
Once you've landed, I'll be giving you clues to help you find fun souvenirs and learn more about the names of God. Wait, there's more than one, you ask? How many names does God have? Well, I'm here to tell you, he's got a lot, and that's what we're going to be learning as we're on the go. On the go, a new series starting next week.